Have you heard the rumors? People are saying there's a talking Pengyon around. I didn't know Pengyons could talk. It's true. Three people have already talked with it near the beach at night. You don't say. We should totally try to capture it. It'd be a great addition to Moggy Lou's menagerie. Well, this is no light matter here in Salt. Local legend has it that when the end times come, a talking Pengyon will declare judgment upon the sinful. Everyone who's encountered this Pengyon has been bedridden from the sheer shock of it. Are you sure it's not just some demon? It doesn't appear to be, though it does seem to be quite aggressive. It goes after people, attacking them as it yells, I'm a medical student from Rize Maxia! Is that supposed to be its judgment or whatever? I have no idea, but whatever you do, you'd better not visit the beach at night. This is some kind of reverse psychology trick, right? Ugh, I can't sleep. I think I'm going to head down to the beach and check things out. I'm with you. Some things just can't be avoided. You're going to look for that talking Pengyon, aren't you? What makes you say that? We're just going on a walk. Look, Velvet! There's a Pengyon! Think it might be the talking one? Oh, good evening. Lovely weather, isn't it? It really talked! I can't believe it. Something I eat can talk? Huh? Wait, do you guys eat us Pengyons too? <sighs> Why does it matter? Please, answer my question. It's very important. I'm sorry, but yes, I eat them. And I'll happily devour most anything if I have to. Well then, I suppose you people are just like the others who came before. I can't let you keep doing that! Oh, and what's a cutesy little Pengyon like you plan on doing about us big bad humans? Uh... Ah! He changed into a human! Who the hell are you? I'm sorry for deceiving you all, but I can't let you hurt any more Pengyons! Oh, <laughs> 
I turned back into a pangyon. No matter. Wait, why are you so intent on fighting us when you're outnumbered? I have to protect my fellow pangyons from the likes of poachers like you. Poachers? We're not poachers, I swear. We just came here to see a talking pangyon. Really? But then, why did you guys say you eat pangyons? Sorry, I guess we should have explained more clearly. This one will eat anything. I yeah, sorry about that. And as for me, the only pangyon I ever eat is what I buy properly at the market. We're not good people, but we're not those kinds of villains either. Oh. Well, in that case, I should apologize for jumping to conclusions and picking a fight. I just ran into some pangyon poachers earlier, and I'm afraid I'm a little on edge right now. Those must be the other people who've spotted you here. They're all sick in bed just from the shock of meeting you. Small fries like them. I bet they'll think twice before they try to poach another animal. So, what are you then? Some special representative of Penyon kind? No, I'm Jude Mathis. I'm a medical student from Riza Maxia. A medical student from Riza Maxia? It's in a different world from yours. Actually, I'm a human just like you all, but... Somehow I was flung into this dimension, and when I came to, I looked like this. So, basically, you're a human from another world, but when you came here, it made you turn into a pangyon? This story of yours, quite a tale. The whole thing's pretty hard to believe. It certainly is. However, when I was lost and confused, the pangyons here were kind to me, and took me in as their own. I wanted to repay the favor to them since they've done so much for me. So you've been protecting them from any poachers who come. But don't you have bigger things to worry about right now? Looks to me like you're too soft-hearted. I get that a lot. Well, we've heard your story. But even if it is true, it doesn't sound like there's anything we can do for you. Don't worry about me. I'll figure out how to get home on my own, one way or another. The problem is that a friend of mine got sent to this world with me, but I haven't been able to find her. My hunch is that she's also turned into a pangyon. You haven't heard of any other talking pangyons, have you? Can't say I have. Sorry. Oh, okay. What kind of person is this friend of yours? Maybe we'll run into her later. Her name is Mila. She has pretty red eyes and long golden hair. She carries herself with dignity and possesses a commanding presence. What else? Oh, and one of her quirks is that whenever she sees something tasty, she drools. That's an interesting quirk. You mean she actually drools? Also, she's known as the Lord of Spirits because she's accompanied by four summon spirits with command over the elements. Ooh, Lord of Spirits. How royal sounding. Got it. If we hear anything, we'll let you know. It may be hard, but try to keep your spirits up, Jude. Thank you all so much. I hope you guys get a lead on Mila. You care about her even more than yourself. Uh, well, how do I put it? She's just a really special person to me, I guess. Fair enough. A talking penguin? I didn't dream that up, right? No, that pangyon was very real. Or rather, it seems to actually be a human named Jude. He said he came from another world. No matter how much we see, life is still full of mysteries, isn't it? He's got guts, I'll give him that. It'd be nice if we could help him somehow. He's kind to pangyons too. 
If he was telling the truth, that would make him a castaway from another dimension. We seafarers always help out anyone who's adrift. Personally, I'm curious about this Mila girl, the Lord of Spirits. She might have a connection to the four Empyreans, or even Inominat himself. Seems unlikely, but I suppose anything's possible. Just in case, I'll keep everything Jude the Penyon told us in mind. Take a look at this. Good luck out there. Don't come back empty-handed. Scout ship departing. <laughs> <laughs>